So there is this one thing that affects every model kit builder out there, staying organized. Storage has been a struggle for me ever since I started building model kits a year and a half ago. It's frustrating and nothing discourages me more than a cluttered workspace. It kills my creativity and it sucks the joy out of building. Recently I came across a product called Kaizen Foam, made by a company called FastCap. Kaizen Foam is a super tough layer foam that allows you to organize items by cutting out the silhouettes or shadows of said items, peeling off the layers of foam to a desired depth, which then creates the perfect spot for each item. Now, I've seen this concept before, but what really sparked an idea in my head was when I learned that you can actually set these up vertically, and it will hold all your tools securely. I use toolboxes and I thought about creating inserts for these drawers to keep my building tools organized. But what if I could build my own removable drawers that I could then bring to my bench as needed depending on which stage of the build I'm working on? I started sketching ideas and I came up with three boards for three stages of each build. Stage 1, cutting and snap building the kit. Stage 2, customizing the kit, then after painting, stage 3, panel lining or applying decals, or weathering, or all of the above. I set out to the Home Depot and I grabbed three 1x3 pine boards that were 6 feet long. I went with the nicer grade ones, and I planned my cuts to where each board would give me exactly one 12x24 inch drawer. And once I had all my pieces cut, I stapled them together to hold them while I installed pocket holes. Then using some hardboard also from the depot, I cut my drawer bottoms and installed them with picture hanging nails. I softened all the rough edges and cleaned up my rough cuts using an electric sander and proceeded to rag stain each drawer with my favorite espresso wood stain. Kaizen foam comes in sheets of 2 by 4 feet, so I cut my pieces to fit each drawer, which they did perfectly. Then it was a matter of organizing my tools how I wanted them to be placed on the foam, and this process took many different configurations and staring at them for at least a day until I was sure of what I wanted. It is important to know that I only included my most used tools for each board based on my building style. Once I was sure where I wanted everything placed, I began the painstaking process of tracing out each individual item and cutting out the foam shadows. Luckily, Kaizen foam is super easy to work with. Just set your blade to the appropriate depth and cut inside the trace line for a snug, secure fit. Using your fingers, separate the layers carefully but firmly until the entire piece has been removed. Each of your tools now has a place of its own that has been custom made. For a lot of my deep round cuts, I used a needle foam cutter, which worked really well, but it wasn't as easy to control. Make sure you wear a respirator if you want to go this route. Slowly but surely, my shadow drawers started to take shape one piece at a time. Not every cut was perfect or even straight for that matter. But all in all, this was a great experience in which I gained new skills and learned a lot about woodworking. This was a project that was long overdue. My favorite part is now having the ability to have my favorite tools at my disposal while I use one of the drawers, or two, or three, or put them all away and work on something else. No clutter, no distractions. 
As for me, I'm going back to building. I have a lot more quality content for you, so please consider subscribing to my channel. Like and share this video if you found value in it. I have linked all the materials I used in the description. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.